Hello everybody and welcome to the introductory section of this course and in this section we are going to know what is HTML and what is different versions and what do you need in order to get started using HTML. So let's get started. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It was created by Tim Berners-Lee in the late 1991, which is the most widely used language on the web to develop web pages. Web browsers can read HTML files and compose them into visible or audible web pages. It's a markup language rather than a programming language. So with HTML, you can create visible and audible web pages. Once we are in the media section of the HTML5, I'll tell you how to create audible web pages in which a certain audio will start playing automatically as soon as someone visits your website. And HTML is a markup language, it's not a programming language. And now you can see that there are various versions of HTML. And in this course, we are going to take a look at HTML5, which was released in 2012. And this is the latest version of HTML. And it contains various different functions, and they are really great. So we will be tackling HTML5. This course is targeted toward the beginner, extreme beginners. If you don't know anything about HTML or you are new, I will start the HTML from ground up and at the end of this course, you will be able to create your own web pages. And for the software, you don't need any extra software like um, anything super fancy. It You can write HTML in the pre the, the default text editor of your operating system. So for example, I'm using Windows. I can create HTML pages using the notepad, which is a default text editor of Windows. You can also use text edit or get it on Mac OS X and Linux. But I would recommend you to use notepad plus plus or brackets. I will also leave the download link in the resource section. So you can download it and the reason why we need Notepad++ or brackets is because the Notepad which is the default text editor in Windows is really simple. It's the simplest one. So once you are, uh, once you start creating complex web pages and you have so much code on it, then it will be a real problem for you to arrange it or maybe format it accordingly but these third-party softwares which are uh, notepad plus plus for example have color coding so as you can see the tags are in a different color the text is in different color and the commenting is in different color so they will help you to easily edit these web pages so as you can see brackets and notepad plus plus you can go with either one of them i personally like brackets so in this course i will use brackets for uh, the entirety of it there is no special thing about uh, brackets as compared to notepad plus plus but i'll be using brackets and for the operating system there is no specific requirement as long as your operating system have a browser and a text editor you are good to go So this was the introductory section of the course and I hope to see you in the next one.